I'm good. Well, what is up, fellow procrastinators? Today I'll be going on to a road trip to Kiyama. Oh god, uh, it's either Bombo or Kiara, but it's down south. It's about like, I think halfway the distance between here and uh, and Canberra, about two hours drive away, down south along the coast. So that'll be fun. This will be like my first time getting out of Sydney ever since I uh, came back from China. Oh yeah, your boy is back in town. Oh. There's still Chinese everywhere, even if I'm in Australia. Ah, familiar sight and smell once more. It smells like breakfast. Mm. About, what, a gazillion years later of going through customs. But before I get to the Kiyama or Bombo or whatever the town's name is called, here's a quick fire review of the uh, Tiffin Black Promise filter that I got. It's amazing. It gives me really those like uh, bloomy sort of lights. Uh, sometimes it gets a bit too intense, especially it, when it started raining on the first day that I used it on the big shoot that I had. The sky looks very pleasing and uh, yeah, and not too dreamy, but it's also just that hazy enough that it removes that clinical digital sharpening look. Yeah, nothing much more to say other than I like it. And the second thing that I should show you, it's this. Just left on the front porch. Weight capacity of this heavy beast, seven kilograms. Got it from DigiDirect, bought it off their eBay store. They had like a 20% a discount code. All right, this lighting kind of sucks. Fan thing here. That's a one and a two. Holy, that is a decent height. But yeah, this is way too high, so I'm gonna have to drop this down. Right, yeah, just have to turn the white balance thing up, you don't mind. Right, this, in the past, it doesn't have like a, a ball head or anything. So if I wanted to get it level, I'd have to make sure all of these sort of legs are perfectly level. It's kind of stupid. So, I'm just gonna loosen the ball head bit here, watch the spirit level, and then tighten that. And uh, yeah, despite my sort of two-step legs being at different lengths, it's level up top here, thanks to this ball head. Oh, joy. More plastic. Tilt left pan up. So lightweight. Well, I mean, relatively lightweight anyway. It's still very heavy duty. Why is it not letting me pan? All right, gonna take some time to figure this uh, stuff out. Can I just point out that this is the most unflattering place to do like a product preview? A kitchen, really? Ugh. Professional, I am not. Yes, back to what I was saying. This right here, as it says, fluid drag system for the pans. It says fluid drag system plus and minus. So if I want to go plus more resistance, to the pans, I, I just like turn it uh, clockwise, so now it's very smooth pans. But if I want very quick, then I go in the minus direction, and now it's very fast. Then it's the same story with the tilts. You go plus to have more resistance, and then minus to have way less resistance. So now it very easily goes up and down. This right here is to lock it. The locking for the pan is right at the front over here, so that's why I was a bit confused at the beginning. And now it will not be able to pan. Still not the quickest release, unfortunately. At least it's secure. Press down on the quick release knob, slide it forwards or backwards. I still haven't really figured that out yet. Now comes the question of uh, actually dismounting this in a quick and efficient manner. Go! Eh, let go! Man, it's like trying to get out of a relationship. Let go! There seems to be no efficient way to get this mount off. Ah. Eh. Why are you not letting go? Ah. Far out. This is why you read instruction manuals. Ah, boy. Ah! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, oh. Oh, man. Let's go! 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Feeling down and dirty, feeling kind of mean. Aren't traffic lights on like long, uninterrupted roads just fabulous? Use any lane to turn right onto Princess Highway, A1. Ooh, Princess Highway, here we go. Hola. That's what my driving instructor used to always say to me. Gola. I've been driving for ages and I'm still in um, civilization. One day I wish to drive on the Autobahn. Thank you for changing lanes right in front of me, which forced me to slow down. Woo, here we go, cruise control. Now just sit back, uh, kind of relax, and uh, keep the foot on, as it relax to the extent that I'm keeping a foot on the accelerator and my hands on the steering wheel. And let's go. Come on, a hundred, please. Continue on M1 for 55 kilometers. A hundred and ten, let's go! Right lane. Freedom! You know you're on, you're in the big leagues when you change lanes and then the, the lane marks does that zoom sound. I'm in this weird gray area where I'm slow, like I'm slower than the people, than the speed demons of the right lane. But I'm also faster than the people on the left lane. So it's like pick your poison. Okay, fine, I'll go to left lane for you fast demons. One of the trouble is with like driving long distance like this and the roads looking so straight and the same, it's just trees, 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 and more trees. You would get delirious because it's like the same image in your brain again and again. So Automatically, so we would start to get tired, driver fatigue from just seeing the same thing over and over again for long stretches of road. Oh, oops. I went onto the lane. Ah, uh, road work ahead. Oh yeah, I sure hope it does. Ugh, mine got the eyes. Uh, they, they have stared at the sun too. Went one too many times. Ah. Continue on National Route One for 15 kilometers. Okay. Oh shit. I've had to break a lot. Wow, I have not come to a stop for like over an hour or something. That's why I felt like I had to press even harder on the brakes just to come to a stop. Here we are at a stop again. Some people say, you know, they prefer, you know, the countryside and all that. But I don't know, it's like the grass is not always green on the other side of the fence. I feel like you kind of have to be a city person to really truly appreciate the absence of the green. But by the same token, I can't necessarily say I desire to live amongst the green for an extended period of time because there are aspects of the city life or like the more, you know, like capital city life. Uh, that I do desire. Fast-ish delivery, the abundance of shops, international food. What's not to love? Wow, I'll be there in six minutes. It's been a long time coming. In three kilometers, take the exit towards Riverside Drive, Bombo. Yes, boss. Unfortunately, this low angle, you can't see what I'm seeing from a head level. You just see upwards into the sky. Oh, decelerating always feels bad, man. It's just, ugh. I want to keep going fast, you know. Oh, there's no one here. It's so lovely. Hey! You have arrived. Yay! I have arrived. Two hours of just pure driving. Woo! I arrived. What do you think of that? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So as I was saying, it was like what? Two hour drive, something crazy like that. Here's my tripod. See my hat. It'll get a bit colder, they say. Later on, like when the sun goes down, and since we're by the sea, it'll be cold, so probably take this with me. Cool. Cool place.
gonna be a long wait. All right, well, since I'm ahead of time with the others, might as well go around snapping some pictures. alien landscape. Oh gee whiz, I sure feel safe. That was very safe. I'm good! Yes, I got it on video. Bruh, they're just really climbing up there. Well, it's getting pretty dark now, so just long exposure photos from henceforth. Look at these hard work. Oh wow, it's like I'm filming the Blair Witch Project right now. <laughs> oh my god! Three, 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 two, one. Oh, don't tell me that's it. Wait for it. Yeah. Woo. Nice. This is shit. This is shit. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That looks perfect. Is I tell Danny to aim it at me so that he can hurt others. What you hear is the ocean, and that's my hand shadow. Well, that's it for today. Um, goodbye, Bombo or Kiyama or whatever the name of this town is called. And uh, yeah, till next time. Uh, so thanks for watching. Keep up procrastinating. Back to assignments. Bye.